How to upload PDF files to WordPress, easy 2022. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing day. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can add your very own PDFs onto your WordPress page or your WordPress account. And it's gonna be very easy. Uh, if you don't know what WordPress is, WordPress is this great e-commerce website where you can create your very own marketing website or whatever type of website you want and from there on out you can add different features and different banners, pages, whatever you like. It's just a great way to start your very own website. Now, uh, I'm going to take you through all of it. It's going to be very easy. I'm going to set you up with WordPress. Uh, I'm going to take you through the whole tutorial. And I'm also going to show you how you can pinpoint and add a specific or certain any type of PDF you want. And we're just going to go through all of it. It's going to be very easy. And make sure to watch this video throughout till the end and follow all my steps. And by the end of this video, you're going to know how to properly upload a PDF to your WordPress. So without further ado, let's get right into it. First of all, what we're obviously going to do is we're going to go and write in WordPress.com and we're going to get ourselves signed up and set it up. So what we're going to do is before we click on start your website, we're going to go on get started because you can't really add links without if you just go on start your website. So I'm just going to use temporary mail for now. I'm just going to go ahead and put it there. Put in any username you want to choose a strong password. And once you do that, you're just going to go ahead and create your account. Now, it says that it asks you to choose a domain. Now, obviously, to choose a domain, you're going to need to have to pay because domains aren't for free. Obviously, it's obviously going to be free for the first year, but then it's going to be $19 per year, $22 per year. And yeah, there's just a lot of domains. Uh, the first one is obviously going to be free, so you can just go ahead and select that, or you can just skip it if you want to. Now, as you can see, that it wants you to choose a plan route. You can choose plans if you want to because there's the personal plan, which has $4 per month, the premium plan, which has $8 per month, business plan, which has $25 per month, and then there's a proper e-commerce plan, which is if you're like in a long-term business, then it's $45 per month, which is billed around five hundred and forty five dollars annually so you can select all of these there are tons of different features and all of these bundles but you can also start with a free site now let me just give you a disclaimer a free site doesn't really give you a lot of features to play around with like you can't even make a proper page but i'm going to just go with a free one just to show you the basics and overview of it so then you're just going to tell your goals write and publish sell online yada yada you can just go through all of these you want to or just skip to dashboard if you don't want to go through these right now then what you're going to do is you're going to come to this interface and this is basically your site has been created this is your wordpress dashboard and from here on out you're going to need to start making and creating pages and adding whatever features you'd like to your wordpress so yeah let me just explain what all of this is. This is your uh, left side dashboard where you can see your main home, your statistics, your upgrades that you have, the inbox if you have any messages. These are your posts that you have on your page. So you can just go on all posts and now you can see we are blank right now. We don't really have any posts. So you're just going to go on add new post and uh, you're going to go ahead and add all different types of posts you have right over here and you can just add any title you like for example I'm just gonna add something random and write e-commerce and then just write anything like I like to do online marketing and from there on out you're just gonna go ahead and publish it and that is how simple and you can also go ahead and click on preview you're gonna click on desktop preview a new tab and look at that this is basically your website now obviously we don't have a proper domain that's why it didn't open a proper website but yeah this is how our website will look like once it's probably probably made now this is obviously a post for a post to show we need to create a proper page now for the page you're going to go back to your uh, main dashboard for that you're just going to go and click on pages and when you're on pages you're going to go and click on add new page and once you click on add new page, we're just going to wait for this to load up. And when it loads up, notice that in the free bundle, you can probably add up to one page. That's all you get because 
obviously it's a free bundle you can get everything now you can either make like just choose a template out of the templates it provides you wordpress does provide you with great templates so you can just use those or you can just start blank and have your totally blank canvas to work around with uh well uh right now this is all we need so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna play around with the text play around with the photos if you want to and then you're just gonna click on publish and once you click on publish what's gonna happen is it's gonna create this page for you now what you're gonna do this is the link you can just click on view page if you click on view page look at that this is our very own page now we can edit this page if we want to as you can see it takes us to our edit but for now i'm just going to go back here and i'm going to add my posts so to add your posts you should, again just go and click on posts and then you're going to click on add new posts do the same thing i told you and uh, once you've done that oh i'm just going to do it just for showing purposes and do that and i like marketing and from here on out we're just going to click on publish and we have our site we click on publish and once we click on publish we're just going to go on view post look at that this is going to be our post on our website now on to the main topic of the video and that is how you can add your very own PDF link or PDF button to click on on your website. So I'm just going to take you through that and just watch it through. It's going to be very easy. Once you've made your pages and your posts, now you're going to get into your PDFs. So just watch it through and I'm going to take you through it all. Now what you're going to want to do is you're just going to go on media. And once you go on media, you're going to click on add new. Now, once you click on add new, as you can see, I have all these custom uh, PDFs over here. You can just choose any one of them if you want. Like I'm just going to choose this randomly. Now I chose this and this media is going to be added to my media in my WordPress dashboard. Now, obviously this media is added. Now you're probably wondering how will we take it to our page or posts? What you're going to do is you're going to go to your page or whatever you've published you're going to click on it and then obviously you're going to go ahead and you're going to want to edit it so we're just going to wait for this to load up as you can see it loaded up now what i can do is i'll just add a button here for now so let's go here and we can either you can either just add it directly if you want to because if you go back here, if I take you back right now to the main um, posts, I'm going to open the link in a new tab. If I take you back uh, to the media PDF, you can see that it has a link. So if we go and click on edit, you can see it has a link. So what you're going to do is you're just going to copy the link and you're going to go here to your pages. You're just going to paste the link. You can either paste it like that or what you can do is you're going to click on the heading you're going to go over here and obviously we're going to do open tab you're going to add in the link and there we go and over here you're just going to write click here and after that is done look at that we're going to put the link and there we go so what this will do we're just going to update it and once it updates uh, we're going to go to preview it, uh, preview a new tab, and what's going to happen is the link we have down there, we're just going to wait for it to update, and we're going to go on page, we're going to click on this URL, view page, we're going to click on it, we're going to wait for it to load up, and here's the link, we're just going to click on it, and look as it opens, there you go, it opens my PDF. And that is how simple it is to upload your very own PDF to your WordPress. So uh, if you have any issues or queries, let me know down in the comments and I'll help you with them. If you want to see more videos like these related to WordPress, please let me know. But yeah, uh, that was it. I'm going to see you next time. Goodbye.